Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. And this is a preview update of the Walking Dead Series 9 action figures. Because now we got some actual pictures of the actual figures instead of just the scans. So, yeah, we're going to go over all of them. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. The first one up is... So this is Constable Michonne. Everyone knows that watches my videos that I'm a big fan of Michonne. So I'm always happy when they're going to make a Michonne. However, if they were just going to make... Well, they, I was going to say if they're just going to make one female character, but they made two because they also made Beth. But if they're just going to make one other one besides Beth, I'd rather it be a new female that they haven't made, like Sasha or Tara or Rosita, someone they haven't made already. But if they're going to make Michonne, that's cool for me because I like Michonne. <laughs> <laughs> but the main thing that lots of people said, and I agree, is if they're going to make Constable Michonne, where the hell is Constable Rick? Yeah, you can't have one and not the other. That's just stupid. And besides, Rick ran around as Constable more than Michonne did, I think. <laughs> I remember seeing her in the Constable outfit, like, what, three times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, where the hell's Constable Rick? They should have made that. Those outfits didn't even last that long. No. It should have been a box set. Like, a couple customizers made the Rick and Michonne Constable custom box set on the Walking Dead action figure memorabilia page, and they looked really cool. That would have been a really cool box set. They should have done that. Instead of just made Michelle by herself. Yep. And these are preview prototype pictures, so I'm guessing that was that's what's going on here. But she's holding the comic book Michonne's sword, which is kind of weird. She doesn't have black and white stripes or whatever on her sword in the show, so I don't know why she's holding that sword. It's probably just a prototype picture, and they just stuck one in her hand. She probably won't come with that one. I'm guessing. She has man hands. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I think they did a really good job on this figure, though. I really like my favorite part. I think would be the pants because they've really done well. The wrinkles and then like the things, like the design around the knees, look really cool. But the other tie and the shirt and everything, it just and it's cool to see a Michonne figure where she doesn't have the headband on. Yeah, her hair looks pretty nice. Hopefully, it's it's painted that nice on the actual figures. Yeah, and it's really weird getting a Michonne with a gun, <laughs> but she did have a gun for that short time. So, that's kind of cool. It's like a little revolver. So, I'm actually kind of happy about this figure now. It looks pretty decent. I like it. It just needs a constable work to go with it. Yeah, that's the main thing. One thing about these pictures is they do not show the back of Michonne. And I'm curious to see if the back of her jacket is all stitched up like she did in the show. But you can't see the back here, so I don't know if they did that or not. It says that Michonne comes with... Her katana with sheath and a pistol. So that's it for accessories. Now we're moving on to T Dog. And T Dog comes with a pistol, a fire poker, and an industrial bolt cutters. And I think this is the best possible outfit they could put T Dog in because I remember him in the ride gear jacket. And he also. He was actually doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and it's removable. And he's usually just in that plain t-shirt, so he got both versions of how he almost always looked. So that's pretty cool. And the face, I think they did a really good job on his face. Looks a lot like that dude. They got his bald head right. Yeah. Because he has those those lines around the top of his head where there's like an indent, and it looks just like his head. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not a big fan of T-Dog. Lots of people wanted him as a figure. I just didn't like him simply because he didn't do anything. He was just always kind of in the background for most of the seasons. There was only two times he did something, and one of them is where he had a fever and wanted to fuck everybody over, like a dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the other one was where he dies. Yeah. Well, he, so. al he also <laughs> did the thing with Merle up on the rooftop. Lost a key. That wasn't much, though. No. It was just like, oops, I dropped a key. Yeah. Like, okay. This always reminds me of the uh, real problem they had back then with having every character means... <laughs> I mean, have something to do. He just didn't. But still, it's cool to make him because he's just one of the characters that were there, and it's cool to have all the main characters. Well, not main characters, but you know what I mean. The group have all their people from the group. They're never the original gonna have, group. Yeah, they're never going to have them all because there was like what Jackie and Amy and Jim and all them ones. They'll probably never make them. That but, whole family that left. Yeah, I can't remember their names. Morales. Yeah. 
But it's cool he comes with this fire poker because I remember him using that in season three. He's got his little handgun. They should make a figure of Carol's husband. What was his name? <laughs> make, a, make a figure of him with his face all fucked up. Yeah, from getting, getting his ass kicked. Yeah, they should have <laughs> alternate heads. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this Tito figure. I don't think there's much more they can do better with this. It looks really good. The next one is the Water Walker. Water Walker. And this one actually comes with accessories because a lot of the walkers don't. But he comes with a food can and a glass jar debris because <laughs> they're at the food pantry. And this walker looks really cool. Like, I hope they paint this well because it's got so much detail that I think if they don't paint it very good, it's just going to look sh like shit. But it looks really cool with the skin hanging over the bones. It's my favorite part. Is like you can see bones like underneath this really loose skin, but you know if the paint job's not good, it's just gonna look like a big sloppy mess. So I hope they paint it into good in, in the final product. But uh, there's not a whole lot to say about him. He looks like he has limited articulation, like most walkers do. Comes with a stand, from what I can tell. It doesn't say he comes with a stand, but they're showing one there, so I'm assuming he does. I don't think his face looks like the water walker from the show. No, he, there's. it's not the one you're thinking of. Where is it from? It's No, the, it's from that scene, but there's a couple different ones. Well, the other one's face looked cooler. Yeah, it did. They should have made the other one. They should have made the church lady. Oh, well, yeah. I don't, I don't understand why they didn't make her. Because she's female, probably. That's it's a walker. Who gives a shit? It's the coolest looking one. Like I think they probably would have sold more if they made her because she's more iconic looking. Yeah, this one's still cool. He's still cool, and I'm just disappointed because they yeah. could have done better. In He's my, my he would have been my third pick from that scene. The first would have been Church Lady. The second would have been that other walker that they showed in there, and then maybe this one. Okay, next. The next is Death Scene Dale. But this is a very odd figure to make. This is like the Tyrese one was kind of weird because he's like bit, but he's still alive. This is basically just Dale laying there dead, and maybe like a few seconds where he's laying there and he can he's conscious. But that's just like a really really, really weird figure because he wouldn't even be standing. He's just laying down Dale dead like. It's just an odd figure. And there's also the fact that there's so many characters we want them to make, and they finally make a Dale, and we're like, that's cool, and then they're like, we're going to make another Dale. And they're probably like trying no. to get... No. <laughs> they probably didn't want to make him, but fans kept were like, kept being like, make a Dale, so they're like, we're going to overuse this sculpt and use what they can to do another one. Mm-hmm. But he comes with binoculars, a removable bucket hat, and a rifle. Removable butt? Yep. <laughs> And they have several pictures of him, and I, well, I think four pictures, and three of the four he's laying down, because I think that's what he's supposed to be doing, where his guts are hanging out there. Because they're sculpted in a way where you'd be laying down. Yeah, if he was if he was standing up, that would be some very weird gravity stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> there is a picture of him standing up, and his guts are just kind of like sticking out to the side, and he just looks a little... He's holding them with his hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's just, just weird. I, it does look like they gave him a different face sculpt. His mouth is kind of open, and I like that. I like that he has sort of like a freaked out face, like, oh, I'm dying. I think he looks more like he's going, huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's going on? I wish they'd make the freaking swamp walker that killed him, though. I really want that walker. I've always wanted that one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> they, they really don't make that many walkers. It kind of sucks. Well, they, they started off making lots of walkers. And mm -hmm. they didn't sell very well. Yeah, why aren't you people buying, you jerks? That's Everybody go buy walkers. I remember there's a quote from McFarland saying, I really thought people would want the walkers, but then we found out they were buying the humans more, and that's what they want. So that's why there's either... Not me. There's either only one or no walkers in a series now. And the next one is even worse than I think the Dale figure. It's Gravedigger Daryl, which we already got him. Mm-hmm. The only difference is that now he comes with a wooden cross. That's it. whoop de fucking do Why? He's still a Walgreens. You can still go buy this guy. Why are they releasing him again? I don't understand. You can get two little pieces of balsa wood or like a popsicle stick and make your own damn cross. <laughs> instead of paying, what is it, 15, 20 bucks for another fucking figure? Yeah. There's very, very few times because I do the reviews that I don't buy a figure, but this one might be one where I don't buy it because I don't know if I want to... Buy. You'd be reviewing a plastic cross, basically. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get it. I say no because it's a ripoff. 
a little bit. I don't like it. Like originally, everybody like we they showed off that extra like extra special packaging. It's like a big rectangular box, and it comes with extra accessories, like a little ripped off zombie head with spines sticking out of it. If it would have been that stuff, it would have been pretty cool. But yeah, if he would have come with a bunch of extras, then maybe it'd be worth getting another one. But it's just one thing. Yeah, I don't like that. Now the cross does look nice. It's a nice little cross, but still, it's just a little cross. It's not that amazing. Okay, on to the next thing. <laughs> and next would be the winner of the fan poll, which is Beth Green. And I really hope that she does sell, because if she doesn't sell well, they'll probably never do this fan vote thing again, or not take it seriously. Especially if a female wins the fan vote, they're not going to take it seriously because that's the reason they don't want to make females is because supposedly the female characters, other than Michonne, don't sell. So that kind of sucks. If we're sh like we don't got Sasha, Tara, Rosia, they could all have figures now, but because the retailers don't want female characters, that's why we're not getting very many. But it says this Beth comes with an assault rifle and a knife. Not very much. Seems like they could have gave her a couple other things. They gave her Beth, or not me? They could have gave. <laughs> they <laughs> they could have gave her herself. Damn it! They could have gave her Judith. Is what I was trying to say. Cause she held Judith a lot. I don't give a shit about that baby. But it's still an accessory they could have gave her. <laughs> it's more than a gun. I would have put it in one of Governor's fish tanks. <laughs> that would make no sense. <laughs> it would make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. This is like for me. This is pretty much a perfect outfit. They put her in. Yeah, she's got the polo shirt on. I love that. Yeah. Like, the sweater, they could have had it or not had it. Either way, I don't care because she wore that sweater a lot. So, I'm happy with this figure. And I think we're both just really happy they didn't put her in the damn scrubs. Yes. I that would have made me very sad. Yes, I hate it. I don't want anything to remind me of that stupid <laughs> hospital crap. <clears throat> Great memorial bullshit story. I hated that crap. There's no Yeah, payoff. they should have just left that out. Like, the only thing that it did was introduce Noah, but then he immediately fucking dies anyway, so what was the point? Yeah, there's nothing good about that whole fucking story. But I, I do like the outfit. I like that they got her ripped up jeans that she always wore. They got her boots and... Are those socks or just part of the boots that are sticking out of there? I think they're socks. Oh, well, yeah. Because it doesn't look like furry. It looks like socks. But whatever that is, she always had them on. And I thought... It didn't say it there, but I thought she was supposed to come with a guitar because I remember the original preview said it came with she came with a guitar. Well, we'll give her a freaking guitar whether she comes with one or not. Yeah, or, it might have to be an electric guitar, but I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because we want to remember how her aw how awesome her little songs were. <laughs> wow, I do um, have to say though. If you're one of the people that voted for her to get made, go out and buy the figure. Make sure that we're supporting this figure so that they do the vote again and they trust our judgment. Yeah. Because I really like the fact that they let the fans pick a figure to be made instead of just making the same, same freaking characters over and over again. Yeah. Especially like when it's like the female one because Lori was second place. T-Dog, I think, was fourth after... I think it yeah. was... I think it was Beth, Lori, Sasha, then T Dog. So they skipped over Lori and Sasha to make T Dog because he's a guy. So that just shows you, like, you really need to go buy this freaking Beth. Buy two of her. Especially since, like, I fucking hated Lori, like, so, so, so much. I still want a figure of her. Well, I'd rather have a Lori over a T Dog. T Dog was yeah. useless. He was barely. He didn't in... do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Gloria hated her, but still, she's a big part of the comp, big part of the story. I mean, she should have had a figure. So, those figures are supposed to come out in February, but you know how that goes. Everybody's like looking online, like, oh, Toys R Us says they're coming out. This is exact date, and GameStop says they're coming out on this exact date, but they never come out on those exact dates. Damn it! It says February, so it might come out in February. It might but come I'm out sure in March. I'm sure everybody will be asking you, like you have some kind of inside knowledge. Yeah, they will. <laughs> like, when are they coming out? What exact date? There is right no exact now. date. <laughs> Even if they come out, like say someone finds them in California, they're out. It doesn't mean you're going to find them in New York that date. They might not be there till like two weeks later. So or a month. You'll find them when you find them. This give you a general idea. They're supposed to be out in February, so maybe check the stores in February and you get lucky. 
But if you really want to know when they're hitting stores everywhere, check out the Walking Dead action figure memorabilia page. So as soon as people start finding them... They'll post on there they found them, and if there's somebody close to your area, you know to go out and look. Yeah. that That's how I find them the last couple series is because of that page. Makes it a lot easier. Well, the one I'm most excited for is a toss-up for me between Michonne and Beth. I really like the Beth. You copier! Well, you go first. <laughs> yeah, I, w I was saying that... um. The Beth I'm really excited about because it's a character we don't have a toy of yet. They did a good job on her, and I really appreciate the fact that they did the fan vote. But the Michonne, I'm even, like, I would say probably around the same level excited for, just because the toy looks so nice. But it really bothers me that there's no Constable Rick. Yeah, the Constable Rick, they sh definitely should have made that. Maybe they will, I don't know. Well, if they were going to make them, they should have made them in the same series, so you can buy them together. They should. Because they would sell better as a pair. I think so. Maybe they'll change it. It's not, it's not final. They could change it. But, uh, yeah, like what, basically everything you said about Beth and Michonne, that's my opinion too. They should have. I mean, I, I really like the Michonne. It looks really awesome. And I'm really happy they made the Beth. T Dog, it's cool they made a figure that people wanted, but I just, I don't really care about T Dog. I'd rather have Rosita or Tara or. Lori, anybody, like T-Dog was, uh, hey, he just, in the background, he did nothing. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't like the, uh. I think I'd rather have a Martinez than yeah, a T-Dog. Yeah, I'd rather have Martinez. <laughs> At least he does shit every once in a while. Yeah, Martinez was actually one of the henchmen. He actually was a threat. T-Dog was just there. He saved Carol, but whoop de doo That's just like, hey, everybody be sad for T-Dog now that he's gone thing that they do. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry, T-Dog fans. We're gonna make you like him just in time to murder him. <laughs> yep. And then even after he's dead, Glenn's like, T-Dog was such a good guy. He, he was drove, the best guy ever. He drove around the town saving everyone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why fuck? didn't he tell us that shit when he was alive so I would've gave a crap about him then? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh, damn.